Hey, 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 guys. Hey, boys and girls. Welcome to the Bubble Tea Show. Sorry, I took a break last week. Uh, we're celebrating the Lunar New Year. So, uh, just got back, visited family, did a lot of Chinese shit. Now I'm prepared and ready and recharged to give you guys more quality content. So today's video will be about bow refinement. As you know that bows are very dominant. If you see in UC, they are almost unkickoutable. If you send 6 rally full of bows, in theory it should be able to kick any non-bow out. Bow here, bow there, UT is like 80% bow, 10% T5. If all have T5, bows ages out. I still have no idea why the game hasn't uh, nerfed bows, but today's refinement, today's topic will be about bow refinement. So, using uh, FDH bow RS clan, the most dominant bow full bow is army size. Bow attack, bow health, bow defense. They actually for the the top like all in bow, it should be only this. This is the best bow uh, setup. So this bow setup is better than army size, total attack, bow attack, and uh attack reduction so if you are like the traditional person who still plays the old line where you give like army size rally size and stuff if you are uh, if two bow players clash and everything is the same the army size bow attack bow health bow defense will beat the army size total attack bow attack attack reduction the bow health is increased by 320 and the bow defense is increased by 320. They have tried whereby they replace bow defense with uh, total attack. The setup, the bow still wins. However, so if you are looking to go full on bows and you are ready to commit the 8000 uh, yellow stones Keep in mind that if they nerf bows or something, you're gonna need to reroll the total attack, man. And the total attack reduction. If you can do another one type troop, you're gonna get countered. It's not gonna be as efficient. But if you're looking to go full bows, this is your thing. However, this is the best bow refinement and it works for UT, Siege of Winterfell. Uh, AC, UC, and uh, PvP. However, this setup is very uh, bad for CCS. So if you're not the rally lead, cause like uh, I haven't tested when bowls versus bow in CCS, but I know in UT, SOW, AC, UC, PvP, if you're bow versus bowl and you have this as your refinement, it beats out any combination of refinement because the the stats you the value stats you gain even the bow defense is absolutely uh insane because there's a slight mechanical issue though like the bows are just uh wonky as shit if you can try army size bow attack bow health bow defense is the best refinement for bows you don't need total attack you don't need total attack reduction this combined with the research will give you like 500 or 600% in bow stats alone and this is lotless or with lot but this combination is bad for CCS so uh, I seen a bow player uh, like Altisio versus uh, Lord Savo uh, or King, uh, what, uh, King of uh, Hail to the King yeah that CCS when Hail to the King had more refinement when his rally size was bigger he actually beat Altisio. So if you're looking for bow on bow for CCS, this is not optimal. But for CCS, you're gonna be wanting something like this. Army size, bow attack, bow health, rally size. This is good for CCS, but bad for the rest. 
your trade essentially trading so bulls are really weird man you know how like for im spear calf the defense really doesn't do shit but for bulls the defense actually drastically increased their tankiness though so if you are looking for events to do well like for this just do just get this and for CCS, this configuration beats this for defending because you're already compensated by having an extra 1 million rally size. So you don't really need that much unless you're fighting bow versus bow, which we haven't seen in the whole AC and UC. But if you are the rally lead and you can forego some events like UT where you can like you afford to say like hey I can give up X points because my account is this stronger but if you're max max and it's a bow versus bow CCS the rally size of additional 800k bowman will beat out the bow defense so this is optimal but when you do this you are weaker for CCS when you do this you're stronger at CCS but weaker in all of this your, for soloing, this is definitely better than this. Only time when the second one is better than the first is when you are contesting for castle. Probably KVK rally is better. If you're rallying a player, the second one is definitely better than the first. Soloing a player, first one's better than second. But you can roughly see where you're going with this. So if you're really committed to the post, I suggest doing this. Or... If you are half as committed so let's say you think that bows are uh, powerful now but in the future they might get nerfed and you don't want to spend 8,000 yellowstones rowing back your total attack or your total attack reduction it's about 8 to 10,000 stones to get the full 8 slot so you want to be a bit more uh, conducive so like you want to edge against the band so I'm suggest this So army size x8 x8 total attack x8 bows attack x8 then bow health x4 bow uh, attack reduction x4 so if you're not looking to fully commit and you don't know whether bows will actually be like for here to stay and you want to hit your bat, you don't want to waste so much yellow stones because yellow stones are really expensive, man. I suggest doing this so that in in the event that uh like if you think both are gonna get enough, you actually save a lot on the yellow stones. You're gonna commit probably about four thousand yellow stones, which is much better than sixteen thousand if you account bow attack and bow health. Four thousand is reasonable. You get it within four months, and if you're willing to coin, you can get it within one to two. So the TLDR. If you want to go full bows, this is the best bow. You don't need total attack or total attack reduction. We've done the test. I've seen many reports. Total attack and total attack reduction is crap. Bow health, bow defense for life. Then if you're looking to be the banner, let's say if you're bow and you wanna, you're want to, you fighting another bow you or you want to rally player stronger, you go for this configuration. It makes your solo weaker, but it increases your rally uh, holding objective strength. Or if you're half as committed to the bow, you can go for this and you save about 4,000 yellow stones. And I think this will still be more decent than army size, total attack, bow attack, and 8 on bow health. 8 on bow health will probably wreck this, but this will be decent than other configuration. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this has been insightful. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments below or just uh, email me. I'm still uh, debating, but after talking with FDH and reading FDH report, if you want to play both, this is probably the what you should do with your refinement. Alright, Bubble T signing out.